Hi everyone, Anitra here, and I wanted to show you um, the altered salt shakers I made for a swap I'm in over at Your Paper Pantry. It's the Romantic Cottage Group, and it's hosted by Teresa, who is Teresa Rogers here on YouTube. And um, we were to alter salt shakers, salt and pepper shakers, um, in neutral colors. And the idea is to have it for our candy stations where you could um, put glitter in them or um, whatever little knickknacks you put in there. and um, Or somebody had suggested using them as little vases. But these are the ones that I made. Um, I made four because I'm keeping one of them. They're so cute. Um, let's see. So this one I made um, using some of this tool uh, netting lace. Well, it's just like tool netting um, trim that Teresa gave me. And this is also a trim that she had given me. And I just wrapped it around this. I don't even know that this is actually a salt shaker. I think it's more like a spice jar. I had a bit of a hard time finding salt and pepper shakers. Um, but I did was able to find this one um, at a thrift store. Um, the first one I got had, I bought like some from... Walmart and they had these little tops on them but they didn't they didn't turn they didn't stay so I couldn't use them and I couldn't take them back because I already started altering them so I don't know what I'm going to do with those but here's this one I covered the top with some a little doily from Julie the paper bag lady one and then along the edge of the lid I put some crocheted lace and I added this little um I guess it's like a spacer. I picked this up at Michael's with rhinestones on it. And then another, a little Wild Orchid Crafts rose sits on the top. So there's one. Oh, and this, I didn't cover the holes. You open it up and there they are. So there's one. And then this one I created more like a vintage -y look on this. I bought this shaker at um, a grocery store where I live. Um, and this is just a ribbon flower from, I think it's a Recollections one. And this is a um, another one of the Julie's doilies, the Paper Rag Lady one. And then I picked this lace up at, um, it's kind of, I don't know what it is, maybe like an antique type store. She purchases laces from Europe or something and she brings them back and then she has, she'll sell them in like little bundles. So I picked up this one and I just adhered it to the jar using some Mod Podge in a matte finish. Um, and it stays on there pretty well, so that's really good. And then this is trim from either Webster's Pages or Prima. I'm not really, I don't really remember, but I know it's from one of them. And then some roses on the top. And that, again, I put another, I don't know if you can see it, a tiny doily there from Julie. And um, this is a, this one is a Prima Rose, and these two are the, um, Wild Orchid Craft Rose. And this one also has a lid to it. That, And then there's a, you can shake out whatever you put in there. And it pops off too. All these pop off. So there's this one. This is more like a vintage-y look on here. And then I used another salt shaker I picked up from a grocery store. Um, and I just, what did I, how did I use? I think I put either E6000 or Fabric Tac to adhere this lace onto the the shaker and this is lace that I purchased from Tresors Deluxe it's um, I guess she sells a lot of high-end looking bridal laces and I've been seeing a lot of people buy them and uh, advertise for them on their design teams um, but when I, when I and I thought I don't know what I was thinking but when I received mine they were also in a red tissue paper here's some of the ones that I and I was like, see this lace? It's really pretty. It's a bit pricey. This one, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a real light baby pink. But it's real pretty. Um, and they're not exactly inexpensive. They're pretty, they're pricey for, I guess, a yard. But, I mean, it's really pretty lace. So I ordered just, just a few. Um, this is the lace I used on the salt shaker. Not pretty. But like I said, it came wrapped in some red tissue paper and it was shipped in a plastic envelope. Um, one of those postage type envelopes that you rip off the 
sticky tape and then just flap it over but there's still like a little hole that you can stick your finger in and I was just wondering why she packaged them in red tissue paper because if you get that wet I mean it'll bleed and I'm thinking wow it's a little so I don't know if that's something she's doing for that's her little I don't know did I show you this one that's like her trademark or if that's just what she had but I mean hmm I, would, I know I would have been really sad if I got this beautiful lace and it had some red staining on it from the tissue paper because it gotten wet but anyway that's those are the laces I got and that's what I used on on this one and I did a little seam binding and a cabochon um, adhered to the middle of the bow and then a little crown charm right here so I think this one's super cute too I went ahead and bought another one of these because I want to make a second one because I thought this one was really cute too that looks so pretty. Ugh, so dainty. So those are my my jars and this one that I had done was almost exactly like the other one only the right here on top it's um, a roped and not the rhinestone and then the rose is more pink. But that's it. Um, Teresa I'm sending these off tomorrow. I bought some bubble wrap so they'll be wrapped up pretty good so whoever gets them they should they should come in one piece I'm hoping and put it in a box okay so that's it for me thanks for watching everyone bye bye